You're going to play an unusual safari guessing game. Going to far off places to gather the ingredients for a common food you've eaten many times. See how soon you can guess what that common food is. First, to the tropics. Most plants are grown for their fruits, leaves, or roots, but these are grown for their stalks. Presses squeeze out the juice, which is cooked into a thick brown liquid. More processing removes the rest of the water and impurities to produce the familiar white crystals that are the first ingredient of the mystery food, sugar. Next to farms that specialize in raising cows and, of course, milking them. Obviously, the next ingredient is milk. Finally, to Africa or Latin America, where this tree grows. On it are pods about the size of a cantaloupe. They're sliced open to remove the 30 to 40 beans inside. The beans are heaped into piles and allowed to ferment, a natural ripening process during which chemical changes create their characteristic flavor. Another six or seven days of drying in the sun changes the color to dark brown. The beans are shipped to a factory where they will be combined with other ingredients to make the mystery food. Different varieties of beans are blended together and then roasted in ovens. The hard shells are removed, the inner part ground up to produce a rich, smooth liquid. The sugar and milk are added, and the mixture is ground over and over again until the particles are very fine. The warm mixture is poured into stainless steel forms. When cool, the final product is removed from the forms and sent to the automatic packaging equipment. Of course, by now you've identified the mystery food. The juice of the sugar cane, milk from cows, and the beans from the cacao tree have been combined to make milk chocolate. <laughs>